chase for the title intensifies in the finale of the Times Ascent Engineering Mastermind as contestants compete fiercely round after round. All right, finalists, we are moving on to the round two. Question one on the screen now. I have INA, INA bearings for this question. Which French multinational? Yes, sir. What's your, what's your answer? SNCF. SNCF would be slightly incorrect. That's a minus five, doesn't pass. It's a minus five INA bearings. Let me move on to the second question now. Which class of diesel electric mm. submarines are, are we talking about? Yes. INA bearings, we are going to go with you. INA bearings. Scorpion. Scorpion is the right answer. Scorpion is the right answer. Scorpion class of submarines is what we were looking for. We will be moving on to the third question now. Third question on the screen for all of us. Here we go. I have JP Morgan. JP Morgan. JP Morgan, my question to you is, what is my question? And a subsequent answer. This is the Carnot cycle, so that's Carnot. This is the Carnot cycle, is a wild, wild guess, JP Morgan. I wish I could give you that. Minus five, minus five to make JP Morgan. Fourth question, one of the last half of this round, fourth question on the screen now. I have Uber from Ahmedabad to attempt. Elon Musk. Elon Musk is the right answer. Elon Musk. Last question of this round on the screen now. Which brand of cycles I have? Uber again. They've gone for it. I need an answer, Uber. So the premium, brand, premium bicycle brand is Montra. So this has to be BSA. That is a wonderful analogy. Not arriving at an answer. That's not the right answer, my friends. I'll have to give you a minus five on that. Five questions, 50 points on the run. Let's move on to the buzz around of the national finale of Times Ascent Engineering Mastermind 2016. Question one to you is this. How do we better know Tren Articulado Ligero Goenshia Orion? Indian oil. Is the right answer, Talgo, Talgo trains. They've been doing trials in India, Talgo trains, that's a plus 10, wonderful score there, Indian Oil. I'll be moving on to the second question now. Second question for 10 points will be with you. Which personality, an Olympic medalist and a deputy sports manager at Bharat Petroleum? I have Gen Pact, I have Gen Pact. I need an answer on this Gen Pact. Which sports personality? Are we talking about? Olympic gold medalist, BPCL, uh, this would be uh, Yogeshwar Dutt. Yogeshwar Dutt is incorrect, Gen Pact. Ooh, Yogeshwar Dutt is incorrect. It's a minus five. It's a minus five to Gen Pact. Question three, for 10 points, let's reset the buzzers. Question three is, Dare House, D-A-R-E, Dare House, is the official headquarters of which Indian conglomerate? Dare House. Indian oil. Murgappa group it is. 10 points to you. Murgappa group it is. I see people smiling in the front row. Murgappa group it is. Very, very close call. What an answer, Indian oil. You're back in the thick of things. Back in the game. I'll have two more questions before we call it off for the winners of the national finale. Question four. Question four. Dobson. D-O-B-S-O-N is a unit of measurement for the total amount of which particle in the atmosphere, Indian oil? Is the right answer? Yes, Indian oil. Oh, they're jumping and smiling and the engineers are happy. You could sense, you could sense the confidence there for Indian oil. Look at the smiles. Oh, the underdogs, put your hands together. Underdogs are back in the game, my friends. Doesn't well, they took it to their heart. Good job, Indian Oil. Last question in the buzzer round of Ascent Engineering Mastermind 2016 is, which law states that the sum of all the voltages around a loop is equal to zero? I have Dr. Reddy's lab. Kirchhoff's law. Kirchhoff's law. Kirchhoff's law is the right answer, my friends. Dr. Reddy's lab. Yes, indeed. What a fun round. Do you think, Chennai, that was the best round of the quiz? Give them a big round of applause. India's biggest intercorporate quiz came to a close with the Indian oil team from Delhi claiming the title. 
and Dr. Reddy's laboratory's team from Hyderabad finishing in the second place. What we see really for all engineers is it's periods of tremendous effort, lots of learning, and then growth. In all this, keeping knowledge, keeping your understanding, keeping the learning on an ongoing basis becomes a challenge. So to all of you here and to the uh, guests who are here, let me say, unlike many professions, engineering is a profession which is less seen, less glamorous. It goes through what is called as a traditional S-curve. Initial part of life, it's a lot of effort, little results. So it's very, very slow. And then it's a period when the effort is much less, but the results are much bigger. You come to the places where you start seeing significant growth. And then later you again come to the plateau area. Then you have to jump off to the next S curve to learn more. So to engineers, I always keep saying, we're used to effort and result in our studies. Yeah, we're used to effort and result in all our design. But in actual professional practice, it runs an S curve. And so stay with it, keep doing hard work, and I'm sure we will build a lot of great things as we go forward. This country in the period of growth that we're going to see in the next couple of years, we need tremendous amount of engineering skills to build all that we are looking forward to. So good to have a lot of engineers, good to have solid participation. Good luck to all engineers and God bless. Thank you. Mastermind journey started when we started, we, when we uh, I mean, registered together. We just one day we planned that we will participate together. We haven't participated together for Indian oil. So this is the first time we are participating together for Indian oil. And we registered and then uh, we went to Delhi yesterday, Delhi prelims. And we topped the prelims. Fortunately, uh, we clicked along well and on the last uh, question of uh, Delhi, we won the Delhi round. We were Delhi champions. We were pretty apprehensive coming into the finals, uh, seeing the strength of the other teams uh, and we, we were looking like it's going to be a tough fight. And it uh, happened so because in the initial round we weren't able to get into the groove and it, it took us the last buzzer round to actually you know, uh, go for the kill.